Hello, good morning everyone. Good morning to all of you who are watching in front, watching at your home. So welcome to our final episode of Science at Home Holiday Edition. So uh, welcome again and very good morning to all of you. Let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is Shin and I am from Tech Dome Penang. I am the resident social distancing scientist from Tech Dome Penang. So like I've men uh, mentioned just now, this is our final episode of the Science at Home Holiday Edition uh, Education Kids episode. So uh, throughout the school holiday uh, previously, week one, week two, week three, we have done other experiments. So in week one, we have done the zoetrope. And week two, we have also made our own very glow in the dark slime, which is called the glow slime. And just last week, we have also saw some of the magics of chemistry where we mix certain acids and base into different indicators and observe the color changes. Well, for those who have just joined us, I would like to tell all of you what we are going to do today. So today, we are going to make our very own solar oven. So as, I, as, as you can see inside the title below, so this episode is uh, the final episode and we are going to call it the solar oven. So in the end of the lesson in, or in the end of the workshop, we will do a oven that can actually heat up things. All right, so before we start the workshop, let's make a, very, uh, let's make a few announcements. Number one, okay, Techno Penang is now already open. So we are open every day from, uh, from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. So we are open from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. And since I know that you still have a few uh, 10 days, 10 days or 9 days of school holidays, you can use this chance to come to visit Techno Penang and experience some of the uh, interactive exhibits. And also we have uh, some promotions for you. So until 12th of the January, under 12th January, we are giving offer for our ticket entrance, for our entrance here. So our entrance fee will be 10 ringgit for all, okay, for, for adults, for kids, everyone same, uh, 10 ringgit. The offer is only until 12th of the January, 12th of January. Okay, so you can quickly grab a ticket or you can quickly come to Comta. Number four, Tech Dome Penang counter to purchase your ticket because we are open every day now. And second thing is about this Science at Home School Holiday Edition Education Kit. Okay, if you have just joined us, you haven't been here since the past few weeks, you can click on the link in the description. It's under that. Okay, there is a link. You can click the link to purchase this Science at Home Education Kit. So inside like this kit, we have four experiments materials. So all the materials are inside here and you can follow these live streams that we have done previously and also this current live stream to buy your own education kit and you can do your experiments at home. All right, so this one, what, uh, once you already sign up, it will be delivered directly to your doorstep and you don't have to go out, you just need to wait for your package to arrive and you can do all the science experiments. Okay, without further ado, let's start our workshop today. So just now I was saying that we are going to do our final one, which is called the solar oven. All right, so what exactly is an oven? Do you have an oven at home? I believe all of us at least will have an oven at home. Be it maybe it's a little bit different type of oven. So like maybe like inside my house, I actually have an oven called the microwave oven. Uh, microwave oven. And maybe some of you will have other types of oven that can actually heat up, can, that can bake bread or they can make other delicious uh, food. Well, oven is a very common electrical appliance at home that we can use to heat up our food. So once your food becomes cold, so I will take the microwave oven for example. Once my food already becomes cold, I will put inside the microwave oven and then I will just turn the knob, I will, I will push some buttons and then it will spin inside, you will see some light and then after a few minutes, you open it up. Magically, your food becomes hot. Well, that's what all ovens do, isn't it? So ovens are electrical appliances that can heat up our food or even that can make food uncooked cook. 
So ovens are actually things that can heat up things. So it actually uses electrical energy and change the energy into heat energy that we can use to cook or use to heat up our food. All right, so this is what we are going to do today, but we are not using electric electricity. We are using other type of energy. And I will tell you what is that uh, later, okay? Now let's go through the material checklist. So inside your uh, science at home education kit, there is a material list. And if you look at the final one, which is the solar oven, there are a few materials. Let's make sure that you already have all those materials with you. Okay, number one is the glue stick. Ah, the glue stick, okay? Number two, we also have some tape, cellophane tape. Okay, tape. And then one small piece of chocolate. So I have one small piece here. So this chocolate you need to prepare yourself. Okay, you can go to the kitchen. Okay, find some chocolate or candies or marshmallows. Okay, they all can work. Okay, next is the solar oven box. So this is the solar oven box. We are going to cut open this box to make our oven today. And we also have black paper. Okay, black paper. This is a black piece of A4 paper. And then we have aluminium foil. Okay, so these are the aluminium foil. We have a long and a short aluminium foil. Ah, and they are all actually wrapped together already. So if you see this aluminium foil, you can open it up, open. Ah, okay, so you have one long piece and also one short piece of aluminium foil. Okay, so we are going to use both of these later. And we also have plastic wrapper. So this is a plastic wrapper uh, with some floral patterns on it. So your, yours might be of different colors. And also, uh, inside your box previously is also that we have some scissors, huh? scissors, okay? You can also take out your scissors. If you, if you already know how to use a pen knife, you can also use a pen knife, but be careful when you use the pen knife, okay? A scissor or a pen knife, both can work. All right, with that out of uh, the way, let's try to make our solar oven now, okay? Step number one, let's bring out your solar oven box, okay, and make sure it is empty. Okay, take out all the materials inside. If you already, if you still have things inside, please make sure it is empty, okay, empty, empty out. Alright, so this is a normal box, and you can see here, name and school. You can write down your name and your school here. Let me just quickly write it down using a marker pen. Okay, she... Okay, Tecdo Penang. So my school is Tecdo Penang. Okay, so I have written my name here. You can also write your names. And turn to the back. Okay, after you have written your name and your school, you can turn to the other side of the box. So the other side of the box here, we actually have some lines. Okay, we have drawn some lines on top of this box already. So you can see, yeah. Uh, we, we have some lines here, okay? So we have this line here. These are solid lines. And also we have one dotted line. This one is a dotted line. And three solid lines. Three solid lines and one dotted line. Now, what we are going to do, we want to use the scissor or the pen knife. Okay, be careful when you use scissors. Okay. You observe around this corner, there is actually already a cut. Uh, there is actually already a cut up here that we have made. So now we want to use the scissor or a pen knife to cut open the solid lines. Okay, remember, only to cut open the solid lines, yeah? Not the dotted lines. Okay, we want to keep the dotted lines not cut. We don't want to cut it. We only cut out the solid lines. Okay. For this, I'm going to use a pen knife, okay, because I know how to use it. But you can also use a scissors. Maybe I'll show you the scissors first. So you can just cut it open. Okay, follow, follow the lines and cut it open. Just like this, okay, just like this. All right, let's do it now. Okay, so the school holiday is just 10 more days away. I hope all of you are ready to... We start ready to go back to school. Okay, I've cut open the first line here. Now it's the this line and also this line. Okay. 
You can also uh, ask your parents to help you if it is a, a bit hard to cut. Okay, I'm almost done here. Ah, all right. Okay, so I have cut open up these lines. Huh? If I push, push inside, you can see that it is cut open. But leave the dotted line uncut, yeah? All right, so now what I want to do is actually I want to fold along this line. I want to fold it so to make it open like this, okay, to make it open. So you can also use a ruler to make it easy. You can use a ruler. So I have a ruler here. Use this ruler to put it, to place it like this, okay, to place it like this. You can put it on the table and fold it all the way there, okay, fold it all the way. Make sure you press the ruler. Okay, I'm going to do it on the table. Okay, fold it open like this. Ah, okay, a very loud sound there. And ta da! Okay, just like a book, just like a book, ah, just like a book. Okay, fold it open like this. So this is our uh, first step. Okay, first step: cut open all the solid lines and fold along the dotted lines until you get this. All right. Now the next step, what we want to do is. Okay, we want to use our aluminum foil to wrap this up. Okay, let's take a look at the aluminum foil, okay? Take the long piece of aluminum foil. This is the long one, not the short one. Okay, take the long one. Okay, and you can see that there are two faces, actually. Two faces, phase one and also phase two. And they're actually a little bit different. Okay, they are a little bit different. So. This face is actually more shiny. Uh. It looks more shiny here, more reflective. And this one is actually a little bit matte or a little bit dull, okay? Not dull, uh, a little bit matte or rough. Not as reflective as the first one. Okay, so now we want to use the, we want to use the reflective slide, okay? Very shiny slide. This one less shiny, this one more shiny, okay? We want to use the more shiny slide and we will open up the solar oven box, open up this box, and we want to uh, wrap it around here, okay? Wrap the aluminum foil, fold it. Okay, let's push it down a bit so that you can see. Okay, put it like this and fold it all the way at the back here, fold it. Okay, make sure this is the shiny side, yeah? This is the shiny side. And also there is a little bit of excess at the top, which I will also fold it down here like this. Mm. Okay, carefully press it so that it is tight. Okay, fold it, fold it, fold, fold, fold. Ah, okay. Alright, so we have done this step, but it's actually a, a little bit loose. Now we will take some tape, okay, we will take some tape and we will tape the aluminum foil to the box, okay, to make sure it is tight. Let's put some tape, okay, some tape here to tape it. Okay, make sure it is tight and it doesn't fall off easily. Okay, also take the aluminum foil and foil together because if not, they will come off easily. Okay, and final two tapes I will put around here. You can put as small, uh, as much tape as you like, yeah. Okay, so to make it tight enough, I'm just going to put it here. One more here, and finally one more down here. Okay, all right. Let's push it back. Okay, so we have taped the aluminum foil. Okay, the long aluminum foil to the flap of the solar oven box. Okay. Now let's move on to the next step, which we will take out the black piece of paper. Ah, the black piece of paper. Okay, we want to cover the black piece of paper in the inside of the box. We want to put it inside like this, yeah? Okay, so what I will do is I will open up one side of the box. Okay, open up one side like this. And I will just put it inside like this, huh? simple. Okay, put it inside so that it's become black color already. But it's actually not tight. It's not tight, yeah? So let's 
put some glue to it, okay? Take out a glue stick and glue the piece of paper, glue the black color paper at the bottom of the uh, solar oven box, okay? We will put some glue here, open up the glue, okay, apply the glue all around, apply the glue here and there. Okay, I believe that's enough. Okay, put more here. Okay, now I have the glue already. I will put it inside the box. Put it inside the box. Okay, and I press it down. Okay, I press it down. Press, press, press. Okay, make sure it is tight. You can press from the top as well. Okay, press from the top. Make sure it is tight. Make sure it is glued to the bottom. Okay, you want to make sure it is glued properly. Okay. And after that, you can cover up. Okay, you can close up the box. Okay, let's close it back. Okay, so we have modified the box a bit. Okay, we put the foil and also we glue the black color paper to the bottom, inside the inside bottom of the solar oven box. Okay, now let's move on to the next step which we will use the next item here. Ah, the next item, which is our... Ooh, this one. Okay, this is the plastic wrap. Okay, we want to put the plastic wrap on top of the solar oven box because we want to cover it up. We want to cover this hole. As you can see, there is actually a hole here that we have made. So we want to cover it up, okay, using this foil. Uh, sorry, not for the plastic paper, plastic wrap, yeah? Okay, what we want to do is we will put it, push, pull it, pull it to, okay, if you can see properly, okay, pull it like this, huh? Okay, so it's yum yum. It can fit the, it can fit the opening right away. And you have excess, it's okay, you don't have to cut the excess part. Okay, just put some tape, okay, just put some tape around the, uh, plastic paper around the plastic wrap and make sure it is covering the hole entirely, okay? I will take the tape and I will start to tape it at the sides here. Okay, put some tape here. And we also want to put the tape on the other side, on the other side. Okay, and I will put more tape because I want to make sure it is covering up the hole properly. Okay, there is nothing wrong with using a little bit more tape to make sure that it is tight and also make sure that it doesn't fall off. Okay, all right, now towards the other side here, towards the other side. I will also put more tapes here. Okay, now, now we have some excess at the bottom here. Okay, we have the excess. Also, please tape it down. If you see some a lot of excess one, you can also put tape at the bottom. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, I am quite done. Ah, I'm quite done. Nice now. Nah. Okay, nice. So it's already covering up pretty tightly. Okay. And inside we have the black paper and also the foil. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so now we are actually almost done already. We are almost done with the solar oven. Okay, now we can actually put this aside first. Okay, let's put this aside. And you can take out the, there is another piece of this aluminum foil. Okay, you may wonder what is this actually for? Okay, so this one, we actually put it inside the box so that you can place your chocolate. Or you can place your chocolate or marshmallow on top of it. So it actually acts like a plate, acts like a plate or bowl to put your chocolate. But if you are at home, you can also find some 
uh, you can also find a very small plate, okay, those that you put your tomato sauce, chili sauce in, or a very small bowl, and you can place your chocolate or candies or sweets uh, on top of it like this, put it on top like this, okay, put it on top like this, of course you need to open up the chocolate first, and let's do it now, okay, chocolate actually can melt pretty fast, Okay, if you put the chocolate into the microwave oven or your normal oven, it can melt quite fast. Okay, your chocolate like this, and we will put it inside. Okay, put it inside the solar oven box just now. Let's open up one of the sides, yeah? Put it inside. And okay, I will put the I will put the chocolate inside. Okay, chocolate here. Okay, the chocolate inside like this. Uh, you can see, right? Chocolate is inside. Ah, okay, inside we have a foil and also we have a chocolate. Okay, so after that, you can close your, close your box. Close your box. Okay, let's close it. Close your box. Okay, so this one got chocolate inside already. Now, you can find a very sunny place, uh, a sunny place or a bright, uh, bright space. So, for example, maybe your balcony, because it's almost noon now, it's 11.20, so almost noon time. The sun is very bright. I see the weather is actually a little bit cloudy, a little bit cloudy, but never mind. You can wait for the sun to come out, okay, and you can use a pen to... Uh, probably not. Okay, you can use a pencil as well, not necessarily use a pen. So I will put, put like this. I will put like this. Okay, sorry. Put it right on top, okay? So that it is actually propped up like this. Uh, probably like this. Okay, put here. Oops, a bit sleepy. Uh, slippery. Let's do try here. Okay, if, if, if it still slides away, you can put some tape there. Yeah, let's just put some tape so that it's taped down here. Tape down. Okay, okay, it's taped properly. And maybe I will also put some tape at the top here. Okay, you can also use a ruler, a stick, or a pencil to do this step, yeah? Ah, okay, so this is my completed solar oven. You can see, right? Okay, so... I actually put it open up like this, okay, open up, and inside we have the chocolate and also the aluminum foil. Okay, so now you can place the solar oven, you can place the solar oven, okay, put this whole setup, this whole thing under the sun, okay, put it under the hot sun, and make sure that the sun is actually shining in directly here, okay, the direction is here, okay, shine from here into into the solar oven and uh don't, don't put it back like this lah, okay if the back the sun comes from here it actually will not help to heat up the chocolate inside okay make sure it is facing the sun make sure the opening or the hole is actually facing the sun and uh, and after that you put it under the sun and wait for a few minutes okay maybe wait for 10 to 15 minutes after that, you can open up the box again and see what happened to your chocolate. Okay, so what do you think will happen to the chocolate? Uh, do you think the chocolate will become frozen, will become cold? Definitely will not become cold, but the chocolate will actually become hot and also melt into a very delicious hot chocolate. Not, not the hot chocolate that you drink, but it will melt and you can have a liquid chocolate okay a liquid chocolate so this is actually how a normal oven will work okay so inside the normal oven like we said just now do you still remember a normal oven use what a normal oven uses electricity okay it uses electrical energy to heat up the inside to heat up the inside to make it melt but is the solar oven here plugged into any electricity I don't think so. Does it have any battery? Not uh, neither. Okay, I don't think so either. 
it does not have any battery. So this one is not hooked up to any electricity source. So what actually helps it to helps to melt, uh, heat up and also melt the chocolate? What is it? Uh, it's something that is very bright, okay? And something high up in the sky. Because it is called the sun. Okay, so as we know that sun is actually very bright. Okay, sun is a star. Sun is actually a star in the in the sky in our solar system and it is very very bright and very very hot okay so how hot exactly is the sun okay so the surface of the sun is actually 5500 5, degrees celsius which is very very hot okay very very hot and it can actually go up higher as it moves up because of some physics so the sun energy actually reaches all the way, travels all the way through up the, uh, through up the space and all the way into our atmosphere and come in and reach us. So we will feel warm and we will feel bright because of the sun. And did you know that sun is actually very, very big as well compared to earth? Sun is a very, very big object in the sky. Okay, of course, if you compare the sun to other stars, it's not so big. But if you compare the sun to the earth, it's actually very, very big. So imagine the earth is actually the sun is actually contains 99% of all the mass in the solar system. That means that it is it can actually fit millions, okay, millions of earth. Okay, earth, ah, okay, one earth, earth is so small only. But the sun is so big, so you can fit so many earth inside the sun. If you squeeze the earth into very, uh, if you put one earth into the sun, you can actually put up to millions of earth into the sun. So that's how big the sun is and also how hot and how bright it is. So the sun is so hot, just like other stars, the sun is very hot. It is because of a process inside the sun. It doesn't become just it doesn't become hot just like that. It, it is because of a process called nuclear fusion. So the nuclear fusion is a process whereby the hydrogen and helium inside the sun violently pushes against each other. Okay, they push, 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 okay, and explode and cause many, many explosions. And all these explosions are very, very hot. So the sun becomes very hot. And the heat travels all the way very far, okay, very, very far away and comes to Earth, reaches Earth and pass all, pass all the atmosphere, all the air and goes into the solar oven. The sun will go into the solar oven. Okay, now I want to ask you, why is the inside of the solar oven black color? Okay, do you know that why the inside is black color? Why we put the black color paper inside? There is a reason we do not use other color, but we use black color. Well, black color actually, it turns out that black color objects can absorb heat pretty well. That means if you put a hot, if you put a black color and white color paper under the sun, the black color thing will actually heat up faster. Okay, the black color paper will heat up faster, so it can absorb heat faster as well. Because you want the oven to be very, very hot, so we put the black color paper inside. Okay, and also the next thing is, why do we put the uh, aluminum foil here? Why do we want to put the aluminum foil? Okay, specifically the side that is shiny, huh? the side that is shiny, not the other side. Well, when the sun actually hits from this direction or from this angle, okay, and hits on the aluminum foil, we want to reflect okay we want to reflect all the sunlight into the box so you see that the aluminum foil actually is like placed uh, is facing slightly below okay you're facing slightly below into the hole because the aluminum foil will help to reflect all the sunlight back into the box back into the box and also heated up get heated by the black color paper now the next thing is the uh, plastic paper okay the plastic wrap here the plastic cover what is the purpose of the plastic cover well just now we just now we said that actually the black color paper will heat up the inside of the box 
and the aluminum foil will reflect all the remaining light back into the box. Okay, so the process actually becomes hotter and hotter and hotter. And we do not want the heat to escape. That's why we put the plastic paper here. We put the plastic wrap here to trap the heat inside, okay, or to trap the hot air inside. We don't want the heat to come out. Because if the heat to come out, if, if the heat comes out, it will not become hot, okay? It will not become hot enough to melt the chocolate. Just like your oven now, okay? If you leave your oven door open, probably the oven will not function. But imagine that if the oven actually still can function when you open up the uh, oven, the oven door, it will not become hot enough. Uh, so if the, your bread, la, your, your lasagna la, actually will not, uh, will not bake, okay? Will not bake because it's not hot enough. So the purpose of the cover here is actually to trap the hot air inside here. All right. So actually, did you know that this solar oven now, uh, if you put under the hot sun, it can actually get up to pretty, pretty hot. Okay. So let me just tell you the upper limit of this solar oven. So the solar oven is capable of actually becoming up to 93 degrees Celsius. That's very hot actually. Okay. If you put this under the hot sun, the inside, uh, the air inside can actually go up to 93 degrees Celsius. They have actually done some experiments. So water, okay, water. Water, if you boil water, water actually boils at 100 degrees Celsius. But the solar oven can go up to almost 100, which is 93 degrees Celsius under a hot sun. So that's how we can make the solar oven by using the heat from the sun, okay? By using the heat from the sun. Okay, so the sun is a very important object, okay? The sun is a very important object. And I told you just now, it produces a lot of heat and a lot of light. So we can actually use all this energy. We can use the heat energy and light energy to our advantage. Because I believe now most of our houses, okay, you plug into the wall there, that one, the, the electricity actually does not come from the sun, but it comes from coal, or it comes from petroleum, coal, and also uh, natural gas. So all those things that I've just mentioned, for example, petroleum oil, uh, coal, natural gas, all these things actually come from the ground, come from the ground, and we call it non-renewable energy source. Because human actually goes deep below the ground, okay, go deep below, below the earth's surface, and they take out all these resources from the earth. And it, we will use the coal, we will burn it, we will burn the petroleum in order to uh, turn the turbine and generate electricity. So the electricity from your home actually comes from this, okay, come from the burning of coal, petroleum, and natural gas. And we call all these non-renewable energy sources fossil fuels, okay? Fossil fuels, they come from the ground. Why, why do we call it non-renewable, okay? Because actually they will be used up some days. Because if human keep digging it up, digging it up from the earth, we will actually use it up, okay? We will use it up and it will not replen re replenish, okay? It will not replenish itself for a very, very long time. So actually it will run up someday and human might not be able to survive without electricity anymore. So that's why we turn into renewable energy source. Renewable energy source. For example, what are renewable energy source? So we have the sun. Okay, so sun is actually a renewable energy source and we call the energy from sun solar energy okay solar energy because solar actually stands for uh stands for sun solar equals to sun so we take the sun's energy and we convert it into electricity but in this case we don't convert it into electricity but we convert it into heat energy it is uh it's also the same you can also use the solar energy to convert up into electricity by either use the focus all the sun's heat to heat up the turbine to make it turn and produce electricity or you can use another thing which is called the solar cells have you heard of solar cells okay so solar cells are actually uh, uh, photo also, also known as 
photovoltaic cells. Okay, solar cells are actually something uh, that can change the sunlight into electricity directly. Okay, so if you if you look around certain places in Penang, not certain places, like if you look at some houses on top of their roof, okay, on top of the roof, yeah, on top of the roof here, you will see some blue or black color thing, okay, like very big panel like that, okay, very big panel. We call those things solar panel solar panel so solar panels are made from all these small individual uh, solar cells also known as photovoltaic cells so when sun hit all these photo cells when sun hit the solar cells inside there we have some chemical and also physical process that can change the sunlight into electricity so all this electricity will then be stored somewhere in your house or be used up directly usually it will be stored inside the uh, battery okay inside inside your house you need there will be a very huge battery that can store all the solar energy as electricity that you can use it afterwards okay used to heat up your oven used to heat up your water okay your heater water uh, water heater sorry uh, that you shower with okay so this is number one solar energy and we also have some other sources of renewable energy. So, for example, we have a hydro energy. Hydro energy is using hydro. Hydropower is actually known as water. Okay, so hydro equals to water. So, we can also use water to help to generate electricity. So, all this, we call it renewable because they can be found... Uh, they will not be used up so easily. So, for example, the sun will also will always be up in the sky. It will not disappear. Okay, it will not disappear suddenly. It also will not use up in 4.5 billions of years. So, that's way, way long for our humans to imagine. Okay, so we can use the power from the sun to generate electricity. But however, there are certain limitations to solar energy. Because we know that uh, the sun actually... If we can convert all the sun energy into electricity, it can actually power up 10,000 times of the entire human population electricity consumption in a year. Uh, so that means in one year, the sun can actually generate 10,000 uh, 10, more times of electricity that human needs to uh, survive in one year. But however, why do we not see uh, all this solar energy yet? Why, why are we still relying on fossil fuels or non-renewable energy source? Well, it is because the technology uh, of solar energy is a little bit limited now, but uh, as, our, as we go by, technology uh, innovation is being uh, innovated. Okay, we have new technology is improving. However, there are mainly one or mainly two, okay, mainly two limitations to solar energy. Number one, which is the battery, because we need to, after we store, after we generate all those electricity, we need to store it somewhere, right? We cannot use it all the way, okay, because it, it can be a lot. So we need to store it somewhere. And batteries that can store very huge amount of energy is very expensive, number one, and also very, very hard to make. So that's why solar energy, that's number one, okay, solar energy is less uncommon now but it's actually becoming more and more common la. okay so number two is at certain places at certain places okay certain places on earth certain country they actually do, do not receive so much sun so for example if you live in malaysia Penang, a lot of sun all year round because we are near the equator the sun will hit us always so that's why we can uh, malaysia is a country suitable to put solar cells okay, to generate solar energy but other countries temperate countries they have four seasons okay some countries they are very like cloudy always most of the time very cloudy so the sun is not so efficient so when we convert uh, when we convert solar energy to electricity it is less efficient so that's uh, one also one of the limitation uh, solar energy is not widely used yet but actually Renewable energy sources are becoming more and more common now besides solar and hydro energy. We also have wind energy, biomass energy, geothermal energy. 
Okay, what else? Uh, most five of these and many other, and actually a few other more, that actually are becoming more and more common now. Because we know that non-renewable non non energy sources will run out someday and they also will pollute the environment, okay, to make our environment not safe to live in. Okay, so there's another thing that I want to talk to you about regarding the solar oven. Just now we say that the plastic wrap here can actually help to uh, trap all the heat inside the solar oven. Okay, it can trap. It can trap all the heat. Did you know that the earth can also trap heat from the sun? Okay. However, the earth does not have a plastic cover, right? There is no plastic surrounding the earth. Okay, no plastic one. So how how can the earth keep the heat inside? Okay, how can it, how can the earth help to keep the heat inside? It is because of another effect that it is maybe you have heard of it. It is called the greenhouse effect. Okay, so the greenhouse effect is actually thanks to some gases inside our atmosphere. These gases are called the greenhouse gases. So greenhouse gases are like the past. Uh, like the plastic okay so greenhouse gas is like the plastic of this solar oven so greenhouse gas will help to keep all the heat inside the earth however because of also we keep burning all the fossil fuels uh, we use a lot of uh, non-renewable energy sources okay we are also producing a lot of greenhouse gas ah did you know that carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is also a greenhouse gas. So as the greenhouse gas in the atmosphere becoming more and more, okay, becoming higher concentration, the earth will heat up faster and become hotter and hotter. Ah, so that's the greenhouse effect. Okay, that's the greenhouse effect. We want to keep the greenhouse effect, but we do not want to overdo the greenhouse effect. Okay, we just want to keep it so that it can keep us warm. Okay, if without the greenhouse gas, the earth will not be warm. Okay, it will be it will be very cold. So the greenhouse gas is responsible to trap heat in, inside the earth. But however, if too much of greenhouse gas can cause a lot of trouble. Okay, can cause a lot of trouble, as all of us might know, like climate change. Okay, climate change, global uh, global warming. So we have to stop using. Okay, or we have to reduce our non renewable energy source. Uh, usage. That's why we will turn to renewable energy source. Okay. Now let's do a very quick recap. What are the non-renewable energy source? I've been talking a lot about the non-renewable energy source. Okay, number one. Okay, we have the petroleum. Okay, where you pump your uh, where you put inside your car. Okay, the petroleum. We also have coal, and we have natural gas. Okay, so natural gas is the gas stove that you can find at home. Okay, so these things are called fossil fuels and they can pollute the environment and also they can be used up very fast. They will also cause global warming. Well, if we have the renewable energy source, okay, what are the renewable energy source? We have the solar energy, okay, the solar energy. We have hydro energy using water. We have geothermal energy using the heat from the earth. We have wind energy using wind. We have biomass energy, which is using uh, organic materials. Okay, organic materials. Well, these are the clean energy source that will, will, will not pollute the environment and also they can be reused. Okay, they can be reused and they can be renewable. So we need to change our re non-renewable source into renewable source to only to protect the earth, okay, to protect our environment and also to make sure that we can make it sustainable, okay? We can generate electricity in a sustainable way that we will not run out of electricity, okay? We have to change the ways of our living. All right, so that's the end of our workshop. We have made a solar oven that can heat up some chocolate, heat up some marshmallow. I encourage you to try this out at home, okay? You can go, you, know, you can put it under the sun and also it will heat up and heat up your chocolate very fast. Okay, we also look at renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy source. So I would like to 
uh, thank all of you sitting in front on this uh, Sunday morning to follow through us uh, in this Science at Home Education Kit Experiment, which is called a solar oven. Before we end the live stream, I also want to stress again, okay, I want to make another announcement. I want to make announcements. Okay, Taito Pinang is actually open now. Okay, we are open every day from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. daily now. And uh, these two days, okay, until 12th of January, we're actually giving out promotions. Okay, we give offers to you. Entrance ticket to Taito Pinang is only 10 ringgit. It's only 10 ringgit for adults and kids alike. It's, and the offer is only until 12th of January. Okay, so quickly grab your ticket. It's a Sunday now. You can quickly come to Dagon Pinet in the afternoon and you can experience our science exhibits. Let me tell you what. Inside Dagon Pinet, we also have our own solar panel. Ha, you can come and see the solar panel in work that, will, that can actually produce electricity and power up some of the appliances in Tecto Penang. So you can come to see our solar panels along with other interactive exhibits now. Okay, the next thing is, the, if you are a new viewer, okay, if you're a new viewer, you can go to click the link in the description to buy the material, okay? To buy the material inside this box, okay? This is the Science at Home Education Kit Holiday Edition. Inside, we have four experiments. Four experiments. Number one, we have zoetrope. Number two, glow slime. Number three, acid-based indicator. And number four, finally, is the solar oven. You can click the link there and register there and we will send the education kit directly to your doorstep and you come back to the live stream, come back to our channel and you can rewatch back all the steps to how to do all these four experiments and use up your holiday time wisely okay so with that out of way i would like to thank you all of again uh, all of you again for staying with me this sunday morning and thank you very much i hope all of you enjoy this workshop and very important three w wash your hands wear a mask when you go out and also warn each other for physical distancing all right so with that thank you very much and also i would like you to stay safe and also stay with science Okay, bye-bye. See you.